In the last few days, a new suspect in the D.B. Cooper skyjacking case has been revealed by an Army data analyst. The case was dropped in 2016 by the FBI, but with the recent influx of connections regarding the suspect, it has sparked interest throughout the whole entire case. The new suspect is a man believed to be known as William J. Smith. And ever since the information was released, the FBI has been silent about this matter. Although with all the connections being made, it does seem likely that Smith was the skyjacker that had $200,000 in ransom money. With that being said, this actually made me want to dig deeper into this theory. So I was actually able to pinpoint around the exact location where the FBI recovered the nearly destroyed cash. Right now, we're standing in the general location of the FBI crime scene that took place in 1980. Now, this is regarding the D.B. Cooper's skyjacking case. Over $200,000 in money was taken for ransom, and this was actually discovered nine years after the skyjacking. What I'm about to show you is that picture that was taken back in 1980 around here in Vancouver, Washington. It's almost an exact equivalent replica of what it looked like back in that day. Although this is relatively new information, we haven't received a response from the FBI. But regarding this case, I do think that there is a strong correlation enough for it to be reopened. There's going to be a free D.B. Cooper conference that's actually going to be taking place on November 24th. Now, this is going to be put on by researchers in the Portland, Oregon area. I'm definitely going to be there. I'm going to be looking for further answers and any more information if I'm able to obtain that. Tune in back after November 24th, where I'm going to be able to provide maybe some more information or answers circulating around this case. Thanks everyone for watching my video. I hope you like my new explanation on how Mr. Smith could in fact be D.B. Cooper.